Shalom, shalom, shalom. It's our boy Wahala again. We'll pray we'll praise us to our Heavenly Father. And glory to the saints that are awakening. And double honors to Christ for being the obedient servant. And being our light back to the Father. And back to the rules. So we're gonna. So I'm gonna get into, uh, or I'm gonna continue uh, in regards to uh, this guy, the deacon, right? And it's still in regards to Polynesian not being Israelites. So I've already tackled. Uh, where he was talking about Genesis 49 verse 21 how he let loose and he wanted proof in regards to speed and music right I still haven't had a response back in regards to Argentina or Chile being uh, on the top you know charts within America as per their music, alright. I've already shown a few of the clips in regards to speed, and I read a comment in regards to Troy uh, for Pittsburgh Steelers, alright. But you still ignore the fact that he did have speed, right, to catch the quarterbacks. You need speed, that's why he was put there. Alright. But as I said, I have plenty of videos that would debunk you in regards to speed of those of Polynesian origin. Or what we call Polynesian origin, right? But now we're gonna tackle a few other things. So I already asked the question in regards to Jeremiah chapter 3 and verse 18 where Deacon was making a statement that the 12 tribes are supposed to be on the land of the north which he quoted as Babylon and he made a statement uh, that Polynesians could not uh, be Israelites because we're not on the land mass of the north which is called America so I rebuttaled and asked the question or counter question and asked them to explain why uh, the one west 12 chart uh, sign has groups like Jamaica uh, Haiti Dominican Republic, Cuba, Uruguay. These places are not on the land of the north, right? So, he's trying to imply that because we're all the way to the west of South America, that we could not be Israel. But as I keep trying to explain, the word Polynesia, if you look up the word poly means many, you would understand that it's a conquered land with different nationalities within this continent. I tried to use examples like Bob Marley, who calls himself a Jamaican, but yet his father was an Edomite, right? But yet he still calls himself Jamaican. So I'm asking the question to Deacon and every other Hebrew Israelite out there. That when they hear the word Samoa or Tonga. Do they know who they're dealing with? Because they're quoting that these people are Jephthah. Right? They're really... Uh, being judgmental 
by saying that they're Jaffet without realizing that these people could be a different nation. Don't you know that in Polynesia or even in uh, Melanesia or Micronesia, there have been different nations that have come into the land? All right, but I'm trying to sh I'm trying to show you the connection of the journey of those that fled the Manchu Wars. Right? They fled the Manchu Wars and journeyed through sea. But even prior to that, right, there are a lot of documentaries and information that show you that uh, people that now dwell in the South Pacific were in America way before Columbus arrived. This is easy information that you can gather online. Alright? And it's funny how um, he still ignores the facts that Easter Island, the capital of Easter Island, is still chilling. How can you miss that vital point of information to show you the connection? Alright? And then how could you miss the point of Hawaii still being the 50th state of America? <coughs> and the funny thing is, he talks about that part of South America and North America were once upon a time connected, right? And a lot of the land masses underwater. Deacon, you're not using your head, mate. All right, the whole earth is connected on a landmass. So to say the South Pacific is not connected to America, you're utter, you're utter blinded, brother. It's only water that's hiding the connection. And if you read the Book of Isaiah, all right, if you read Jeremiah. If you read Second Address, if you read the scriptures, you would see that the northern kingdom traveled by sea. And as I said in Jer uh, Isaiah 41, they were scattered. Even Isaiah 11.11 11 shows you all right, that there are Israelites from the northern kingdom in the islands of the sea. So how can you say that all 12 tribes are in the land of the north when it tells you when the Messiah returns he will be gathering the remnants all right, from the islands of the sea? And last I checked, when you do the research on Deuteronomy chapter 33 verse 23, as I said, South America once upon a time was one whole landmass. There was no division between Argentina and Chile. These are Spanish um, territories, right? When they conquered the land of Argentina. All right. Manchu owned that location before the war occurred. And if you do some research on the discovery of Polynesian bones within South America, you'll find out our people were in that land. But you're too ignorant to see that. Don't you see the resemblance of us in South America? Can't you see the looks? Right? A lot of people thought, like when I speak to Mexicans, they can't see the difference between me and a Mexican. Yes, we are big. But if you do the research of Polynesia prior, right, to McDonald's coming, before Burger King coming, before all this unhealthy food coming, right, we were all athletes back in the days. We were hunters and gatherers. So to say that we're big, all of the tribes of, uh, of victims of obesity. Alright? But 
to put us all in that category that we are large, yes, we do have large people in the island, but we also have very fit people in the islands, no different to every other tribe. It's just ignorance, mate. But going to back what I was saying in regards uh, to South America, once upon a time, that was one whole landmass. So you can't say South America is south and west in Deuteronomy chapter 33, verse 23. Because that word west, which is ham, or yam, sorry, means ocean, or sea, or water. It was making a separation between the west and the south. And it's basic, it's basic understanding that the people of the South were also people in the West. <clears throat> but as I said, Isaiah 41 tells you that the, island, that the Islanders were scattered. And if you're wondering why we're not on the streets, it tells us in Isaiah 41 verse 1. Let me bring it up. So I'm just going to open the Bible app, if I can find it. What do you open this? So let's type in Isaiah. Oh, wait a minute. So Isaiah forty one and let's start with verse one. Keep silent before me, O islands, and let the people renew their strength. Let them come near, then let them speak. Let us come near together to judgment. What does it say? Keep silent before me, O islands. Right? And look at this. So when you look at uh, the South Pacific, right? And the word there is self. It tells us in verse 2, who raised up the righteous man from the east? What's the east of South Pacific? America. Right? We are keeping silent and waiting for that time for that righteous man from the east. Who raised up the righteous man from the east and called him to his foot, gave the nations before him and made him rule over kings. He gave them as the dust to his sword and driven stubbles at his bell. So we are all waiting for the destruction of Esau and his nations. Alright? But as I said, to say that all the tribes are in the north, it's there. I already explained it, that in South America, I consider the Chile and Argentina are Nafatali too. But they're also conquered and they have other nations within their landmass. Just like the South Pacific, that's why we struggle together. And then I heard Hasha or Hasa from a, a Sakari, your, bu your buddy. Ask the question, right? Have we ever served servitude? Right? So he was 
so your buddy was asking with me so serve to and you are asking the question when did we ever serve slavery with you guys? Right? Have you not heard of blackbirding, brother? Where Polynesians and Melanesians and Micronesians were kidnapped from our landmass and taken to uh, Australia, but also to Peru to work on the guana fields. Didn't you know that, brother? Basic information that we served captivity within America at the same period that you guys were there. So that's my rebuttal. That yes, we did serve captivity together in that landmass. And if you're asking the question once again, why don't you see Polynesians on the streets or with you guys? And there might be just only one or two. The problem is you guys are being stumbling blocks, right? As I said, the problem with you guys is when you hear the word Psalm or Tongan, you automatically say, no, you're not an Israelite, you're a Japhite. You ignore the scriptures completely where it tells you that Israel, especially the northern kingdom, have also been scattered to the islands of the sea. The proof is there in Isaiah chapter 11, verse 11. It's been documented by Esau himself, right? That proves that the islanders are connected with the Native Americans. Same tree, but different branches, but were rel uh, related. It's been proven historically, and also been um, uh, noted by certain religious groups like the Mormons, that have done research by using Jeremiah to find out that uh, people from America, all right, natives, they fled through the sea. You have uh, uh, professors like Four Herodot, who did uh, that did experiments by travelling from Peru to uh, the islands. The information is all there, but as I said. If you're free to discuss it, I'm free, I'm available. But to go back to what I've already stated, I've already shown you that Polynesian music has already been in America. And we are thriving here in the in the South Pacific. I've already shown you speed. All you need to do is just type in rugby and you'll see how dominant we are on the field. Already showing you uh, information on where you can find how uh, Polynesians, a remnant of Polynesians, are connected to those in Peru and South America. There are plenty of documentaries that also showed that we were in the north as well, way before Columbus arrived. But I want to make sure I make this clear. The word poly or poly means many. Nisian means islands. You need to investigate how many nations are within the word poly? So before you jump to conclusions, Deacon, when you hear a brother that has, has awoken and claims to be an Israelite, and not to be quick to judge him, right, and say that, no, you're not Israelite, but you're a Japhite, First, you have to test the spirit, All right? But to answer Hazard, you ask that question: Have we ever served captivity? Yes, we've been in captivity for how long? Look at Samoa, for example. 
Samoa has been conquered and now we are called Western Samoa and American Samoa. All right? In American Samoa, they receive American currency. They have American Navy uh, base over there as well. But once again, Deuteronomy chapter 33 verse 23 to say that Chile and Argentina are southwest and ignore the fact that that whole landmass was one landmass. There is no division within South America. But you need to investigate uh, the, the migration from south to west. And west, as I said, in the Hebrew is Yom, which means sea or ocean or water. Right. That's just basic information that you seem to ignore. And then going back to the question I asked to Deacon, which I'm still waiting for a reply, if you can reply, brother. How can you say that Polynesians cannot be Israelites because we're not on the land of the north and ignore the other uh, groups within the 12 tribes sign. They're not on the land of the north. And then try to um, make quotes or statements or give your opinion that that was all one landmass. I don't disagree, it is one landmass. It's just water carrying the... But the same thing applies with the South Pacific. That's why it's called the South Pacific. We are on the west of the south. See what I just did there? We are on the west and the south. Which means that those that are in Chile and Argentina today still have ties with us in the South Pacific. As once again, I want to emphasize, not all Polynesians are Israelites. Why? Because we have conquered people. We have conquerors within our land but all you need to do is if you're going through Deuteronomy chapter 28 verse 15 all the way to 68 you'll find that we do fit the curses if you just do basic understanding and once again when he talks about the um, poverty line right once again you're ignoring the facts that they're characterizing us as Polynesian as one whole people. Let me show you something, right? I'm just going to do... Let me show you something. Let me bring up... Let's type in map to people images. Okay. Is there anything else I need to say, Deacon? Look at this lady. What does she look like? If she was in South Pacific, she would just be like us. Right? Look. Look at this. These look like Pacific Islanders, and Pacific Islanders look like these people. We're one and the same deacon. When are you going to get it in your head, bro? Alright? 
You simple ones, you lack knowledge. You lack wisdom, deacon. And you need to repent from what you're doing. Because you're being a stumbling block to those of a Pacific origin that are awakening. Alright? You become a stumbling block to us. You're not the person that's supposed to divide the sheep from the goats. That's not your job, Deacon. Alright? Look at this. When are you going to wake up, Deacon? To my Mexicano brothers out there, to my brothers in the South America, you know what I'm talking about, right? Do you need more proof? Let me go... Let me bring up this brother. So we've got this comedian here, Luke Torres. He's a Mexican brother. Proof Deacon. What else? What is this? I can't find it, but anyway. What is this? Uh... Some of the places we're planning on performing this next year, um, we're talking about going to Germany, we're talking about going to Bulgaria, and India. India's on the list of new... So we got this guy here, right? Gabriel Inglesia. Why does he have the word aloha there, right? He tries to explain in one of his comedy acts that... People think he's Hawaiian, but he's actually Mexican. Alright? And when he went to Hawaii, he couldn't see the difference between Hawaii and Mexicans. The only difference he could see is that Hawaiians were bigger. But as I said, if you do the research, why are Polynesians bigger? Because we're stuck in this condition now where McDonald's is our norm, instead of the natural food that we used to eat prior to being conquered. All right? We're no longer working on the fields anymore, but we're working for the man. And we all know who the man is, all right? Working that nine to five, seven days a week type of uh, job. We're no longer in our environments, we're in their environment now so we're conditioned to eat all their products now so that's why we're big but when you do the research on the earliest Polynesians you'll find out that they weren't that big there was, there was no difference between us and the natives of America and we still look the same today we haven't changed it's just you trying to make a separation between us. No different to what uh, Westerners are doing. 
trying to say that we're not the same people, but we are the same people because our spirit uh, connects. But other than that, I think I've done a lot of spill. I don't know what else I need to prove to you guys. And, and I'm not here to please you. I'm just here to edify you. To give you the opportunity to communicate. So I've already rebuttaled your music and your um, speed statement. You already stated that we spoke Hebrew. Our dialogue was similar to Hebrew. Alright. Missionaries already confirmed that we were doing Hebrew X. Right? By harvesting circumcision. Having an order within the household, the head is the father. See, all these things have changed today, right? Where now they're teaching equality. Now the woman is trying to be the head. No different to the other tribes that were all going through the struggle. But the pinnacle of our origin, before it was tainted, the laws were always within us. Even though we fell off in certain parts, by worshipping idols of wood and stone, right? Which is a clear indicator we are idol worshippers, which Israel are idol worshippers. That's why you can find Nizrok, the Assyrian god, right? Half man, half bird. You can find that in the north of America, you can find that in the South America, you can find that in Eastern Ireland. And you can also find that in Polynesia. You can find the snake god that's been worshipped from America to South to the South Pacific. Because we we're worshipping the Syrian gods. That's why Native Indians have totems. Alright? And Polynesians have totems. That's why South America have stone hedges and we have stone hedges. Because we're the same people, Deacon. We know you're going to get it. And once again, I want to emphasize, not all Polynesians are Israelites. But to say that all Polynesians are Jephthah, you're straight up lying. And you need to repent from that, Deacon. Because you know for a fact there are Edomites that are calling themselves Polynesians as well. And if you're still saying China and Japan... Uh, Moabites and Ammonites then Hawaii is not Japhet because Hawaii was conquered and overrun by Japan which means they makes them Ammon right and then in the South Pacific we have a lot of Chinese then which means there's Moab in that lands too according to you, your guys breakdown It's weird how uh, Esau knows that the Lost Tribe are in the South Pacific as well. And not only in the South Pacific, they actually tell you that Israelites fled Peru and came into the South Pacific. How can Esau know this and you not know this, Deacon? Are you that hard-headed to information? You made so many clinical errors, man. By trying to raise that Nafatali has to have speed and music. And then when I asked the question to show me Argentina or Chile to ever be on American charts, you can't give me one proof. But I can give you proof of Polynesians being on American charts and also UK charts around the world. Alright. But yeah, this is your boy Wahala. I think I've spoken a lot.
but I'm still going through this video. I just wanted to tackle the part of the landmass that he quoted in Jeremiah chapter 3, showing you that he's ignorant to the information, and he's actually double-tonguing himself but by not realizing that Jamaica and all these other islands are not connected to the north, as per his understanding. When he tries to say that Polynesians not connected to America, he makes no sense because the landmass is still connected underwater. And what separates us is water. And that's where the word West comes from, which is Yom. Basic. Basic deacon. But other than that, that's your boy Wahala. All praises to the Most High through His Son, uh, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus. But I don't want to take the, the glory and praise of our Heavenly Father, who deserves, who deserves our 1,000 uh, percent life to be given to him that's the whole duty of man is to fear the most high and keep his commands we ain't perfect right because we're still in this corruptible flesh Christianity is going down because they teach the laws are done away with alright so when Christ or the Messiah said, they will come to him and say, Lord, Lord, did we not prophesy in their names? These are workers of iniquity. So workers of iniquity will tell you that the laws are done away with, but the laws still stand. So to my Polynesian people that are waking up, don't let these guys be the stumbling block to you. You know who you are through the Spirit. We, we we don't need to try to please these people. Our duty is to fear the Most High and keep His commandments. So all praises, I'm out. Kwame Sharala, and let's rise together. Then.